In this video, let's explore how to use Photoshop's new generative expand feature to resize and expand videos. Follow along and learn how to use this generative AI tool to resize a video and expand the background content. We'll also take a closer look at how to turn a landscape video into a vertical one. So let's jump right into this video and start creating. I'm in the latest version of Photoshop beta and the first step is creating a new document to import the video. So let's go up to new file and the size of the document will be 1920 by 1080 with a resolution of 300. Go ahead and click create. Now before we get started, we're going to need the timeline panel and this can be accessed by going up to window and then choosing timeline. There's mine at the bottom of the screen. Next, I'm gonna bring in the video. And for this, I'm gonna drag and drop right into the canvas. Here's my video here, and I'm just gonna drop it. Go ahead and click the check mark to accept that. And next, I wanna create a video timeline. You can see that in the timeline panel down below. It says create video timeline. Now, if yours says create frame animation, just ensure that it's set to create video timeline, and then click create video timeline. And if I just increase the size of that panel, you could see if I press my space bar, that is a video that's playing. So let's just think of this as B-roll in a video. And I wanna add some text to the left of the subject in this video. I'm just going to zoom out a bit, command zero, and I have a text animation that I'm gonna place over top of the video. Once again, I'm just going to drag and drop that right in. And you could see on top of the layer stack, it's called text animation. So I'm gonna press the play button in the timeline and you can see that the text reveals and it's just some information to go along with the B-roll of this video. I'm gonna scrub the playhead back to the beginning of the video. This is where we'll use the brand new generative expand feature powered by Adobe Firefly to expand the content of the video and give us more space to accommodate the text animation. So I'm gonna zoom out just a bit more, command and use your minus key. And for this, I'm gonna click on the crop tool or press C on your keyboard. And I'm gonna grab the top handle and start cropping out. And while I'm cropping out, I'm gonna hold Shift and Option. That would be Shift and Alt on Windows. And I'm going to just expand out. Something like that is fine. I just wanna add a little bit more information to this image so I can give more space to the text animation. Once you have the crop set, in the contextual taskbar, right under the video, click Generative Expand. Now you don't have to type anything in there, let's just click Generate. And Photoshop will detect the background in this image and add more content to fill out the frame. Let's have a look. Now that's really cool. We have three variations to look at. There's the first, that's already pretty good. You can see it already expands the desk. It gives you a little bit more foreground and more space to the left of the canvas to add that text. So let's look at the other two. I'm gonna click the middle one. That one's not bad. I like the first one still. And there's the third. Let's go with that one. One other thing we have to do is extend the generative expand layer in the timeline so it matches up with the video. So just drag the right hand side of that all the way through. Now if I press play now, you can see that the text will play. It's a little bit smaller, so let's adjust that. I'm gonna click on the text animation. I'm also going to make sure that that's at the top of the layer stack because it has to be above the generative expand layer. I'm going to command T to free transform the text animation and I'm just going to hold shift and drag that upwards. And you can do the same thing down below. Find a size that you like and then place it somewhere around here where you get a little bit more space between the subject and the text. So I'm okay with that. I'm gonna press the check mark here to commit to the transform. I'm gonna scrub the playhead right to the beginning again and let's have a look now. I'm gonna press play. And there's our animation that plays through. Let's look at another example, only this time. Let's see how powerful Generative Expand is when it comes to resizing a video from landscape to vertical. Here's the second video of a woman working at her desk. In my timeline panel, I'm gonna click Create Video Timeline. And you can see in the timeline, if I press play, that will play right through of the woman at her desk pointing at her screen and working. Let's just stop that and scrub the playhead right to the beginning again. 
and I want to see how Generative Expand handles a vertical crop on a video. For example, let's say I wanted to share this as an Instagram story or reel as a video. Let's go ahead and press C on our keyboard to launch the crop tool. And in the aspect ratio, let's change it to 16 by 9 and then click these arrows to swap out the height and width. So we want a vertical crop. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit more, command minus key, and then grab the top handle and while you're dragging out, hold option, that's alt on windows. And once you have the sides snap to the video, go ahead and release. Now, because we've already activated the generative expand, you can see it's already activated in the contextual taskbar. So all you have to do is click generate. Photoshop will do its thing and you can see the AI working. And let's see how this handles the vertical crop and adds content below the subject. Now, the first few might look a little funny. Let's have a look. So we have three. That one, you can't really tell what's going on down below. I mean, it does a great job of adding the desk and some of the chair, but it gets a little funny down below. Let's look at the other two. That one's not bad. That one's really good too, because you don't know, you can see her feet down below. So I'm gonna go with this one. Again, in the generative expand layer, I'm gonna grab the right hand side and drag it to the end of the timeline to match the video. Now let's press play and see how that looks. That's not bad. You could see that the subject is still working at her desk and nothing's really affected underneath. I think that looks natural and pretty good. And not only that, now I can add my text animation on top of this one as well. So if I just drag and drop, make sure it's at the top of the layer stack. And I'm gonna bring this to the very beginning, like so. And let's take a look how that looks. We'll just play that through. Now it's far too small. So I'm just going to Command T for free transform. Hold your shift key and let's really drag that up. And you can position it somewhere down below here. Maybe bottom left area. And let's see how that looks now. You can play that through. And again, this would be really cool if you ran this as an Instagram reel or story. And so that looks pretty cool. And that's a great way of using Generative Expand to expand your videos. Thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoyed these tips on how to use Generative Expand in Photoshop Beta to expand and resize videos seamlessly. If you'd like to learn some other AI tools in Photoshop Beta, check out these videos right up here. Until next time, take care and keep creating.